This video is going to be a bit different. I'm not talking about cast things. I'm, I'm all I'm doing is talking about threads. And the reason I'm going to do this is because when I dismantled the um, steering box, I discovered that the bolts that hold the top plate on, they weren't UNC, they weren't UNF, they actually turned out to be BSF. Now I've got three bolts here. One's metric, one's UNC, and one's UNF. So I'm going to talk about how I can distinguish between the three of these bolts. When you measure a thread, you only need to know two things. You need to know the diameter of the thread and you need to know the pitch. And the pitch is the distance between there and there. Now, this is an imperial bolt and that means it's a bolt that is me measured in inches and the pitch is stated by teeth per inch. So over a distance of an inch, it's how many teeth there are. So on this bolt, it's quite a big bolt, you could actually get a, a, a ruler and, and you could count how many threads there are within an inch. But when it comes to a finer thread and a tiny small bolt, it, that becomes very difficult to do. So what you need are thread gauges. Now I'm sure you can pick these up on the internet. They're pitch gauges and they correspond to the actual pitch of each bolt. Every bolt you can think of, it, you've got all these different pitch gauges. The other thing you need is a thread chart and the most commonly used one is called a juice book and it's a pocket sized book. I can't actually show it because YouTube stops the video because of copyright issues but I will put a link in the description below below the video so you can see what I'm talking about and it's got every diameter of every thread and within that diameter it's got what pitch it should be now I've measured these bolts and um, there's a 12 mil bolt there and when I've looked in the chart the pitch should be 1.75 millimeters now that one doesn't show up in fact you can't really see that very well if I maybe if I zoom in it so obviously it's not that one and it doesn't fit in that one so this one has got to be the 12 mil so so now you know that it's definitely a 12 mil bolt because the diameter is 12 and the pitch is correct for a 12 mil bolt the same goes for the unc uh, the book says that unc half inch unc is 13 t per inch so that fits in there that's the UNC and UNF is 20 teeth per inch that's the 20 and that that's the UNF now when you measure bolts the diameter of bolts they are always undersize so that's about six thou undersize that one's about what's that eight thou seven or eight thou this one's metric so go over to metric and this is about 0.1 that's four thou under size if if it was exactly half an inch and exactly 12 mil you wouldn't be able to get a half inch nut on or a 12 mil nut on it so that's why they always make them under size now these are quite accurate machine bolts um, but you can get some cheap bolts that are quite a bit undersized but you can usually kind of guess you know what the size is because you know that it will be undersized this is the bolt from the top of the steering box and what first got me thinking all about this is that when I tried a half inch AF spanner on this bolt it, it, it wasn't a good fit 
So it turns out that the, these are BS, they're BS bolts, and they're not really used anymore. So I was really surprised to find that on, on this car. So that fits well. And this is 5 16 diameter. And so it says on here, 5 16 BS, or the equivalent is a quarter Whitworth. Now the old Whitworth nuts were much bigger than any uh, nuts that followed them. The, the Whitworth was the first thread to be invented. So you very rarely find a Whitworth nut that this will fit. So this one is 516 UNF and this one is 516 BSF and the only difference is that the UNF is 24 teeth per inch and the BSF is 22 teeth per inch but that small difference means that that won't go in the hole that that came out of so I'm sure a lot of them still in boxes have probably been mashed up and the threads have been mashed up on them I was going to end this video at this point but then I got thinking about pipe threads because they're even more confusing in some ways so these threads here are BSP and that stands for British Standard Pipe Threads now the way these are measured is different to bolts now this is a half inch BSP pipe thread so I've got my vernier set to half an inch but as you can see it's much bigger than half an inch now the half inch refers to the diameter of the hole in the middle and even then it, it can be way out it depends on the manufacturer now this this quarter BSP is correct they've drilled the correct one so that is that is about a quarter of an inch and that when it comes to pipe threads there's two types of threads there's parallel and there's tapered now this is a parallel pipe thread and it relies on a washer on here to seal it but these are tapered so they're smaller at the front than they are at the back so the more you tighten it up the more you turn it the tighter it gets and that seals the thread because it's tapered it's getting tighter so it becomes airtight and watertight in the UK we mainly use BSP um, but there is another pipe thread that is used in America and that is called National Pipe Thread and they are very very similar the actual TPIs are like one TPI out very often to, to the BSPs um, so because this is a Ford they've, uh, American so they've, they've stuck with NTP and that, that was a surprise I thought I thought it would be BSP because it's been made in this country but it's not so this is the drain plug for the ra radiator and that's 1 8 NTP these two here go on the bottom half of the uh, pump on the vacuum side of the pump this is the drain plug for the engine block and they've made that quarter MPT now the rest of them is, are UNF so the input and the output of the petrol pump is half inch UNF and I'm sure the tank is going to be the same because it's the same pipe that goes all the way there um, the, this is an unusual size I haven't even got a 716 UNF bolt to try it but I'm sure that is 716 UNF but the threads, uh, the output uh, threads of the uh, master cylinder are the same as the brakes, so they are 38 UNF. And I think this is standard on most cars. It, that is brake brake pipe thread. So at the wheels, it's going to be the same 
and the bleed nipples I think are going to also be 3.8 UNF. So that's the end, I, uh, I kept it short on purpose and I didn't go into all the different aspects of threads and things, there's lots of other things that I could talk for hours about it. So I just st stayed with UNF and UNC because that is what m the vast majority of the bolts on, on these cars will be UNF and UNC. If anyone has any questions about threads or anything like that, just put it in the comments below or even on Facebook and uh, I will see if I can answer any questions you have. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like my videos and thank you for watching, hope to see you next time.